Hey, what's up guys? So I had a quick thought I wanted to share with you. My wife and I are taking my, our middle child to uh, a college prep program and I was thinking about how much of a curse it must be, uh, and a, a gift and a curse for this uh, child to have two uh, parents that are college professors, right? And I said, she probably doesn't even know that that's a big deal or, or that that's weird or anything like that. She just thinks that's normal. But either way, um, I thought about another person who had two parents that were college professors and his name was Sam Bankman Fried. Sam Bankman Fried, as you know, was the founder, notorious founder of FTX that went bankrupt, lost billions of dollars, the company's being sued all over the place. He could spend a lot of years in prison, uh, et cetera. His parents are law professors. He may not, he may get off plus white privilege and all this other stuff. Who, who knows? Anyway, uh, with Bankman Freed, one thing I want to point out to you is that a lot of people think that understanding money and making money is about knowledge and know-how. It's about skill. It's about, people think it's all about how many classes you take or how smart people are around you. Bankman Freed had all that. Both of his parents were law professors at Stanford. So he knows how to, and they were in securities law, if I'm not mistaken. So they know how to make money. But what they did not get Bankman or what he did never receive was emotional intelligence. Uh, emotional intelligence is what allows you to avoid the two biggest wealth killers that I know about, which are fear and greed. Uh, Bankman Free could have easily been a billionaire and not be on his way to jail. Uh, he could have been a billionaire and not let the company go bankrupt. He could have been a billionaire and not become one of the most notorious white collar criminals on the entire planet. So what I encourage you to understand is that your mindset and your emotional uh, disposition are just as important in your wealth building journey as how much information, how much knowledge you have. That's the reason why in the Black Business School, we created the, the first ever Black Financial Therapy Department to work with the best black therapists on earth to determine the psychological barriers that keep us from building wealth in our community. So anyway, guys, I gotta get out of here. I just wanted to share that thought with you. I hope this helps you in your journey. My new book is called The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power. You can learn more at, on Amazon or at voicewalkins.com. And also I have a free training at voicewalkins.com called How to Make Money Without Working. Feel free to take a look at that. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you soon.